Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. We're told that x and y are positive integers. And so we want to know what's greater, x over y or x minus 1 over y minus 1. Well, a great first step to take on quant comparison questions is to just try something, anything that could work, right? So what are two potential values of x and y? I don't know. How about 2 and 3, right? Those are positive integers. So in that case, x over y is 2 over 3 x minus 1 over y minus 1 would be 1 over 2. Now, which of these two quantities is greater? Quantity A. So that means that the answer is A, right? Not so fast. On these questions, we want to know what is always true. So yeah, we found one case where quantity A is greater than quantity B. And that means we can get rid of this one and this one, right? We just found a case where quantity A is greater. So we can definitely say that B is not always greater, and we can definitely say that the two quantities are not always equal. But what we want to do now is try to disprove the case we just found. Can we find a situation where quantity B is greater than quantity A, or perhaps where the two quantities are equal? Well, what if I made both of these numbers 4? You might say, oh, well, hold on a minute. They're allowed to be the same number? Why not? Right? There's nothing saying that they are distinct numbers. x could equal y. Right? So let's just say that x and y are equal. So 4 over 4 is 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. I'll cross out our old example here because we're not using that one anymore. And then uh, uh, 4 minus 1 is 3 over 4 minus 1. 3 is also equal to 1. So I just found a case where they're equal. In one case, quantity A is greater. In the other case, the two quantities are equal, which means that the answer cannot be determined here. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.